Hello, this is Urs Heckmann, and this time we are looking into Zebra's oscillators. As you can see, I've prepared a patch with just a single oscillator, and now I'm going to show you what's possible. First off, one interesting feature is oscillator presets. You can click here, normally it says default, now it says in it, go to factory oscillators, and go through a couple of different oscillator presets which contain whole settings just for an oscillator like this one or um, there's one here like this one or this one or just pulse width modulation but what we need at the moment is in it which is just a plain sawtooth oscillator so, um, the first thing to explain about oscillators is, first of all, you've got the module here, which contains all the parameters that you need in a synth patch, with um, modulations, with tune, with the waveform, with detune, with vibrato. And there's a second part of the oscillator, which is down here which is the more OS tab. Normally it starts like this, but when you click more OS one, you get this. Here you get a key scaling where you can uh, change the volume of the oscillator over the range of the keyboard or over the range of the velocity so that you can do velocity splits and key splits already on oscillator level. Also, You've got 16 waveforms which an oscillator can hold. You can draw your own waveforms, 16. Most of them are at the moment sawtooths. And use that like a wavetable. Um, why is this split? This split is done because all parameters here up here are modulatable. That means um, you use them a lot when you create synth patches and modulations within the patch. All the parameters down here you use when you concentrate on building an oscillator and its characteristics, like for instance the synthesis method and um, the actual waveforms. We come to that later. But this is basically why it's split. All the stuff down here simply doesn't fit in here and it's also not needed in conjunction with LFOs and stuff but it's, um, it's separate, makes it easy to access and uh, well keeps a low profile in the user interface.